Hi, Booze Business fans. I have a very special treat for you today. I'm sitting here with Allison Patel, the founder and owner of Bren Single Malt Whiskey, a whiskey from France. I had no idea that France even made whiskey. So tell me the story, why, why France? Sure, um, so uh, as an American, uh, in the early 2000s, I was getting really excited about whiskey and um, kind of watching the trends that were happening with world whiskey and distilleries kind of starting in, um, setting up shop in the international whiskey space, if you will. So kind of anything that's not Scotland, Ireland, or Canada, really. Um, and I was really hoping as a consumer to try a whiskey that was reflective of the region in which it's made, so kind of the effects of terroir and single molds. Um, and I couldn't really find any that had um, that were focusing their, their whiskey making efforts on that. So I thought, well, France is really well known for beautiful terroir, right? They have tons of different regions. Um, when you look at their distilling history, they've got cognac, armagnac, calvados, but right, not, not so much whiskey. So, so when you look at France as a whole, they're the largest consumer, or they've consistently been the largest consumer of, of scotch per capita in the world. World. So I thought, well, maybe it's time that the French actually have their own whiskey. Okay, so whiskey. Have you always been a fan of whiskey? What what made you go into whiskey particularly? So so I was a ballerina to um, in the earlier part of my life, and um, so when I retired from dance, I, I say that I found whiskey, wine, and cheese. So <laughs> life got really tasty. <laughs> um, uh, but whiskey whiskey really won my heart. And after I had that first sip, I went nuts, and I needed to understand about the distilling process and the barrel management. And, and I was, you know, self-taught and a, and a total fan very early on. From ballet to booze. Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? So, you know, there, there's your your lifespan as a dancer is, is often cut short due to just age, um, injuries, and um, I had I was very grateful. I had a I had a great career from um, spanning from when I was nine years old to 23. And so at 23, I was proposed with an opportunity to um, kind of close that career and start a new one in the business world. And I, I couldn't say no to it. And I was excited to kind of reinvent myself. So it was, it was a nice step. So I also know that you have a blog, yes. which is The Whiskey Woman, Breaking and Entering into the Boys Club. What has it been like being a female entrepreneur in a majority male run industry? It, it, was, it was weird coming from the arts and coming from ballet and speci uh, specifically, uh, there's, it's so female heavy. Um, and I, I wasn't even aware of, of maybe how unique it would be to be a woman in the industry when I started. Um, and, and it was funny because I, I never, it was never even part of my thinking, right? I stand at the table at these events, I'm pouring my whiskey and I don't see myself juxtaposition with everyone else. So, um, so it was really when people started saying, hey, you're different, you're a woman. And I was like, I've always been a woman. That doesn't seem different to me. Um, but I didn't realize just how few of us there were. Um, but it's been great. I've, I've made a lot of wonderful friends and yeah, I, I don't see gender as a barrier. And aside from that, have there been any other obstacles that you've had to face? Every day. Yeah. <laughs> so being a one-person uh, company and running a production from a di from a different country, um, there's there's obstacles every every at every turn. I feel like every day I wake up and I have to learn a different language and climb a different mountain. And then once I get to the top, I get to hit the pillow, go to sleep for a couple hours, and I wake up and I'm like, oh, another mountain. Oh, a new language. Cool. Let's do it. So what makes Bren whiskey special? Oh, lots of things. <laughs> One of my focuses was to showcase um, regionalization in single malt. And for me to do this in Cognac, France, I really wanted to use as many things, everything if possible, from the cognac region. So we're one of the only distilleries in the world that actually exclusively distills barley that we grow. We have um, two heirloom varietals of barley grown organically at our farm distillery in Cognac, France. All the water is from cognac. We have a proprietary strain of yeast, and we're also using an Alembic Charente um, still for the distillation, which, which is a typical still used for cognac. It has like an extra little globe on top, but most single malts are done in a pot still, which looks like a giant onion. But you know, distillers will say between 60 and 70% um, of the flavor of a single malt or a whiskey will come from the barrels. So when you think about most 
most single malts, not all of them, but most, a majority, are aged in bourbon, sherry, or port barrels, and or port barrels. Um, when I was working with this distillery and looking at the barrel maturation, uh, when you look at, when you think about terroir, right, being geology, geography, and atmosphere, and you look at France, and you look at Cognac, the Limousin forest is very close, and Limousin produces some of the best, arguably some of the best oak in the world um, for spirits and for wine. So, so we actually start this whiskey in a virgin, what's called a virgin cask. Um, so it's a new uh, Limousin oak barrel, which is a species of French oak, and then we move it into Cognac barrels. And in the beginning, I didn't realize, but we're one of we're the only distillery in the world that's doing a single malt in both virgin French Limousin oak and cognac barrels. So Bren isn't just unique because it's a French whiskey, but it's also really unique in the single malt whiskey space in that it's the only whiskey aged in those barrels currently. So if someone was going to break into the liquor business, what advice would you give them? Run away! No. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, be prepared in all areas of your life. Um, I mean, prepare your friends, prepare your family to, to let them know that you're going to be somewhat of a social hermit, but one who looks like a total social person, right? Because, because it is the alcohol industry, so that means you have to be out and you've got to be in bars and restaurants and, and working and selling and being at events. Um, but then you, you quickly realize in the beginning, as fun as that is and your social calendar looks very full, that you're on the other side of the stick or on the other side of the table. So, so you end up just, um, just working a lot, which I think you would in any industry if you're an entrepreneur but um, yes there's competition but I for me the people is, is really what makes me want to wake up every day and, and keep doing it from the consumers to my partners in the industry I mean um, I'm excited to see how people are innovating and what they're doing and and everyone really comes together as a community which has been just a huge blessing for me and a value add in life so thank you so much I think that it's time to try some of this whiskey <laughs> All right, this looks incredible. So for the novice whiskey taster, what should I be looking for? Yeah, um, so just like the way you'd approach wine, um, with whiskey you want to first look at its color, um, and then you're going to nose it, and then you're going to take a sip. But when you nose a spirit, um, and whiskey's a spirit, right? Um, you, unlike wine, you have to you have to start with your nose a little bit farther because it's higher in proof. Um, and I typically tell people to go in with your mouth open, and that'll decrease the burn a little bit, and also kind of get you get your palate ready for what it is you're about to taste. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's amazing. Pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> So tell me, what is this that I'm tasting? Yeah, so because of the barrels that we're using for the maturation of bread, which is the virgin French oak cask and the cognac barrel, we're getting so much creme brulee and fruit forward and floral notes, which is pretty atypical for single malt. Um, sometimes if you get those, you'll get them a little bit in the beginning or the middle or the end, but not necessarily in the entire experience of the whiskey. Um, so that was really exciting for me to kind of develop and showcase, again, since it's the only single malt currently in the world that's aged in the virgin French oak and cognac barrel, um, this is this is pretty fun and, and I think it's pretty approachable, right? Like, yes, I will approach it daily. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.